one. So what we have here is two sets of boards uh, that are both powered up, but they're not connected to each other. Um, in fact, you can see they're running the synchronization program, and at the moment, these guys are pretty well all synced together, and so these guys are pretty well all synced together as well, although they're not synced with each other. What we're going to do here is we're going to send some new code into the system. This is a USB connection that we've got over here that we've got connected up to the laptop. And I'm just going to recompile the sketch that these guys are running. And I'll do that now. And, oh, that flash right there was that system had discovered that new code was available. So it dropped back down into its bootloader. And there you can actually see it's pulling the code in through the USB connector and then burning it into its flash. Uh, um, and that takes a couple of seconds. And now it's a red blinky. And at the same time, the guy next to him, he just heard about this new code from the first guy, and he compared the date of the new code and said, oh, this is much nicer and newer than what I've got. So now he's picking it up. And over the next minute or so, the code will flow all the way through the grid. Now, afterwards, these guys, once again, are still running their new improved red blinky sketch. Uh, um, <coughs> and while the rest of the board, uh, the rest of the grid is being reprogrammed. Uh, as each guy goes into the uh, bootloader, the bootloader wakes up and it looks around and says, who's got what kind of code? And so this guy here now is looking around for code. And at the moment, uh, uh, there it is. He's discovered that there's something that is desirable there, and so he's picking it up. And he's the last one. And, and we can see that uh, the rest of the, this grid has, in fact, resynced. Uh, um, but the other grid is completely independent, still running the old sketch. But again, if we want, this is all plug and play. We can put these two grids together. Uh, um, and let these guys start to talk. So very quickly, the infection spreads. And on this second grid, in fact, uh, we've got some pretty dense connections here. We've got a t solid 2x2 two two grid uh, of boards. So in fact, there's a number of ways for the code to flow through the grid as the update spreads. And in not too long, once again, uh, uh, the boards pick up the new code and start adopting their new task. And at the same time, the rest of the grid behind them has been performing their task uh, all through the process. So now here's a case where there's two boards uh, uh, that have the potential to both discover uh, um, the new code, but neither of them seem to be. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, um, and now, in fact, this guy is feeding code in two directions at once. This guy is being programmed, and this guy is being programmed. And once again, in each case, this is the same program which is being literally copied. The program that's being run is also being copied to the neighboring boards where it starts to run there as well. And now we've got the final frontier. The last three boards of the entire grid are picking up the code to adopt the new behavior. And that's the sort of thing that the, these boards are just very naturally good at doing.